again. Whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you're rich, whether you're poor, whether you got long hair, short hair, straw body hair, uh, any kind of hair, <laughs> you still have to obey certain rules and certain principles. Those cannot be broken. Now, they have asked them to sing the Lord's song in a strange land. And now Judah is saying, how can we sing the Lord's song? Even though Nebuchadnezzar has been ruthless, even though he's been mighty, even though we, they've been exiled there, and Nebuchadnezzar has been there for 18 years, and even though they've been in power and in control and done whatever they wanted to do, whenever they wanted to do, when they asked him to sing the Lord's song, the children of Israel said, I could do it if I was in Jerusalem, but I can't do it in Babylon because I'm in captivity. And it occurs to me that the way we worship for, for some of us depends on where we are. They have asked them to sing the Lord's song in a strange land. And now Judah is saying, how can we sing the Lord's song? Even though Nebuchadnezzar has been ruthless, even though he's been mighty, even though we, they've been exiled there. In okay, now when you look at Psalms 137, it's a clear situation. First of all, King David and um, Psalms was writ written before Israel went into Babylon. See, Babylon happened after um, King David. The kingdom was split. They went, the Benjamin, Judah, and um, Levi went to um, Jerusalem. And, and the kingdom was split. It split up with Solomon. Because only Judah went to Babylon. Why didn't uh, Issachar, Naphtali, or Ephraim go to Babylon? Because the kingdom had split. And so Judah, Benjamin, and Levi went to that Babylon. But see, he's using this thing and saying it was Nebuchadnezzar. It was not Nebuchadnezzar. See, it tells you in the in the nine verses of uh, Psalms 137, it tells you exactly who it's talking about. When you jump down to verse 7, it says, Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. See, it tells you who he's talking about. He's not talking about the Babylonians. The Babylonians was Hamites. They was not Edomites. They didn't deal with uh, Edom. Edom was no part of Babylon. Because when you jump down to verse 8, it says, O daughter of Babylon. See, the children of Edom is going to be... The daughter of Babylon, which means confusion. And so that's the rivers of uh, Babylon. It, it, it's the, um, the, the, the daughter of Babylon is talking about. It just said Babylon in verse 1, by the rivers of Babylon. But it was talking about the daughter of Babylon. Babylon the great America and ran by the children of Edom because uh, Nebuchadnezzar uh, is, is, is thousands of years before the Edomites uh, even got a rulership and even took the nation of Israel into captivity the, the nation of Edom didn't um, deal with the Israelites um until the Greeks took over, and the Greeks took over after the the um the Persians, and the Persians took over Babylon and told the Israelites to go back to Jerusalem and 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 follow their laws. So this this guy and Christianity is pushing 
a major lie. He went straight into the Nebuchadnezzar 18 years. Nebuchadnezzar had nothing to do with that situation in Psalm 137. And we know that singing has got to another level in this kingdom under these Edomites. Singing is only required mainly from Judah because that's one of the major identifications. So that's why he's tackling this because it, it pretty much kills Christianity to know that it's one group of people on earth that can sing better than everybody else. Now when you go into, uh, let's see here, Jeremiah talks about this king of Babylon. I mean the daughter of Babylon. It says in Jeremiah 50, Jeremiah 50 and 33, it says, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. And all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Now when you jump over to the next chapter, which they didn't have chapters. Um, you know, he didn't write nothing in no chapter. Uh, it tells you who he's talking about. Uh, Jeremiah 49 and 7, it says, Concerning Edom. See, concerning Edom, the Edomites was Babylon, the daughter of Babylon. Let's see, when you're going to 51, no, 50, 50 the same, because in 33 it said they was holding them fast, Judah and Israel. Then when you go to uh, verse 43, it says the king, no, 42, Salakia. It say, O daughter of Babylon. Then 43 say, The king of Babylon has heard the report of them. So the king of Babylon, the daughter of Babylon, is all the same. They're talking about the same thing. And it's all talking about the children of Edom. It's way after Nebuchadnezzar. See, Jeremiah was around that time, but he was prophesying about the future. And so these christianity peoples like that's what they do see they don't give you the context of what was being written they just grab a verse and they go to talking about it and he's talking about i'm not talking about geographical location where the verse talking about geographical location and it wasn't talking about no nebuchadnezzar and that that those nine verses you won't see Nebuchadnezzar nowhere in there, but you do see the, the children of Edom. See, you do see the children of Edom, and it happened uh, after uh, that Babylon situation happened after King David was dead and gone, man. So what? What? How did he know about it? He's obviously prophesying before this thing even happened. He talking about uh, Babylon. Who, who said the children of Israel was going to go to Babylon in King David's time? When King David was alive. How he know they going to they gonna go into Babylon and sing by the river? See? But he wasn't prophesying about that first time that they went into Babylon. That was a, that was going to be the, the example. Uh, the first example of the great Babylon. Babylon the Great. The great city. Now we're going to Revelation. Let's see who this Babylon is talking about. So like you now, Revelations 11 and 8, it tells you who is this Babylon the great. It says, And their dead bodies shall line the street of the great city which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. See, spiritually, it's Babylon. It's not Babylon, the ancient Babylon. That's why I said the daughter of Babylon, because spirit is spiritually is Babylon. It's representing what Babylon represented, captivity to the Israelites. 
but it's going to be under the Edomites, who is the so-called white man. You see? And so, uh, that's what that verse is talking about and that chapter is talking about. It's talking about America and the, the, the tribe of Judah. Because the tribe of Judah in America uh, is singing better than any people's ever and the Edomites who are the Amalekites who run the, the music industry the gospel industry any kind of industry that pushing out music and giving uh, record deals and all this kind of stuff that's that's about the, Edom the Edomites is doing that they the one uh, asking these people to sing in slavery they, they had them singing with the banjo singing on the plantation that the, the minstrel show was famous in America because they they remember the time when they were singing in slavery. Then the minstrel show became famous. Then after the minstrel show, they start requiring a song from the Israelites. See, Rita Franklin, James Brown, all these uh, artists start coming out singing around. This 1969, when um, Judah started waking up again. That's why down in the next verse in chapter uh, Revelation uh, 11, 11, 11, it says, And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them, and they stood upon their feet. And great fear fell upon them which saw them. See, that's when that's the spirit came. And they went to singing more than any peoples on the earth. Everybody is copying the Israelites from the Jackson 5 to all these groups, Temptations, and all these groups that came out in the 60s because that was 350 years after, slave, after they had been brought here on the slave ship. You see... And that great city is Babylon the Great, America. See, that, that's the empire. Anybody look up America, it, you will see that America is an empire. And they rule the world. And this is where the Israelites was brought in captivity. Uh, when you go into Daniel eleven, Daniel nine and uh, nine and eleven and twelve, Daniel nine, uh, chapter nine, verse eleven and twelve, tells you that only Jerusalem went into captivity. No other nation went into captivity. So that was a prophecy about the future. That was not no Nebuchadnezzar. And all they once man that that was button had nothing to do with Nebuchadnezzar. But that's is what that's what people that you know don't know the Bible, and they following Christianity will tell you. But I'm gonna leave it there. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem and Kakadash. Double honors to the elders pushing the truth. Peace to the elect worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.